Hi, today is Friday, October 23rd, and I am very excited to be sharing my thoughts on the November 2020 scent of the month. So this is actually not the first time that I'm smelling this scent because we did receive little testers of some of the upcoming scents of the month with our Scentsy Family Reunion Kit a few months back. But I remember when I first smelled this scent in the little tester, I absolutely loved it and could not wait to get my scent of the month kit in the mail. So I've actually had it for a few days and I've had a chance to warm some of the cubes. So I did want to share some of my thoughts on the performance as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the scent of the month for November, which is called Jeweled Pomegranate. And Scentsy says, shimmering pomegranate sparkles with sugared mandarin and a twinkle of cinnamon. And I have to say, if I was going to describe this scent in one word, it would be festive. This is just a really nice, bright, fruity, Christmassy scent, and I love it. So, since he says the top notes are glowing red berries and sugared mandarin, the mid notes are tangerine swirl and shimmering pomegranate seeds, and the base notes are soft, delicate musk and cinnamon. And I have to be honest, I don't pick up a whole lot of red hot cinnamon. I do get just a tiny, tiny hint of kind of a spicy potpourri note. But for me, this is predominantly a really bright, juicy pomegranate with a really nice citrus note from the tangerine and mandarin and it is beautiful. So when I first smelled this, I thought it smelled like a really festive Christmas cocktail, and I think this will be really fun to warm as we get closer to the holidays. So I absolutely love it. Um, now, I wasn't a huge fan of Dazzling Pomegranate or Perfectly Pomegranate. They were both a little too tart, a little too cloying for me, but I think that the citrus note in um, this one really kind of tones down that really tart pomegranate and really rounds it out nicely. So I love that. If I had to compare it to something that's currently available, I'd say that it's kind of in the realm of cranberry garland. So a really nice fruity Christmas scent. Um, it definitely doesn't have as much of the pine or greenery note that Cranberry Garland does, and then it does just have a splash of a really nice Christmassy citrus in it, so something like um, spiced grapefruit, uh, but it's really, really beautiful. And as far as performance goes, I was able to use two cubes up in my office. I have the classic curve warmer in my office right now. And I was able to warm this for at least eight hours a day over the past few days. And I'd say on day one, it was really nice and strong, very present. Um, I could really pick up on all of the notes. And then by day two, um, some of those top kind of bright fruity notes had toned down just a little bit. And then by day three, which is today, I was having a hard time smelling it. So I'd say it did really well for the first two days and I was really pleased with it. And I am really happy to have a big brick of the scent that comes with the scent of the month. Um, I noticed that they updated the packaging to include little imprints of all of the scent families. So I'm really excited to have that. I think this will be a really nice festive scent to warm around the holidays. I also thought that the warmer of the month was really cute. This is called Country Christmas and it's a really kind of festive red barn. I thought that would look really cute in a little Christmas village. So if you've smelled the scent of the month, you'll have to let me know what you think. Also let me know if you picked up the warmer of the month. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.